Hi guys, so welcome to this video and today as you can see I have plenty of things and this video is going to be about the Rodeo pads which I use for both drawing and work. Uh, most of the time it, this is for work because uh, the Rodeo paper is not the best for drawing. But welcome back to this. Uh, all you see is the stock that I have. I will send samples as well but most of what you can see that, that and that, that's all my own stock and the reason I have bulks of these is that I buy them in bulks so that it's less expensive and I use a lot of them for work because I've used plenty of pads in the past for work and the more I grow old the more I use excellent quality pads it's just my own pleasure to work with nice paper so I always have the top of the pops basically so uh, let's start with uh, the regular Rodia block and that is a huge block which is called the number 19 and I'll come back to all the sizes so you can understand so you got plenty of sizes starting with the number 8 to the number 38 but most of the time the sizes people would use is the number 10, number 12, number 16, 18, 19 basically mm. <laughs> Sorry, lots of allergies due to pollen still, but it's getting better. Okay, so what you see in front of you is the regular basic pad that made Rodia so famous. So, to give you a bit of history about this, Rodia was created in 1932 and then it was called Papeterie Viriac Frère. Okay, <laughs> I hate pollens. And then in 1932 they came up with this pad, which for the time was very avant-garde. And it started the huge success that they had for two reasons, because it was very, a very simple and effective tool. And because it was a kind of design that people liked, the uh, balance between the orange and the black, that was kind of nice. So, that was 1990. 1934, and then in 1997, Claire Fontaine, the, uh, the French group, bought Rodia over, and that's how it started being a very huge group that is located in France still. Right, so here is your regular block. The size is a huge size, that's a 19. The advantage of size 19 is once you take your page out it's a regular A4. Now if you take the regular A4 size which is the number 18 once you take the page out it is not an A4 and that's the reason why I would choose this one. Also this one comes in an interesting cover and that's a leveret cover with the Rodia design embossed on it and nothing on the it's it outside. Also there is a pen holder but I never use pen holders I don't know why but I never use them I just don't like them so it's a leveret and when I put this to cover my um, my blocks or my pads I was kind of disappointed that it wasn't real leather but I see the advantage of this one it doesn't feel water and it's also extremely resistant I've done the test bag my school bag test it's been in my school bag for a long time, it's been scratched and there's no trace. So as you can see it is quite resistant. So that's the advantage. So when you buy these, and sometimes you buy them by two, I bought the uh, two of these at once, then it comes with a regular Rodia pad with, the, uh, with a smooth water resistant cover, but as you can see there's a shine on it. Okay, and so you've got two colors. I've got one in another color, which is, right, so here you can see the difference with a size 18. So that's for the regular pad, and it also came with this one. So these ones are two uh, new ones, the ones that I took in my bag, which has a little scratch, is the one in the back. And so you've got these two colors, the orange and the black. And once I bought this, I realized they also had a Rodiorama version, which is a bit different. So let me show you. You will then see the uh, number 16 
if I remember well, that's number 16. Yes, that's the number 16. Right, so I've got all of these little pads, which are A5 sizes. As you can see, this one has been going to work lately. So it's already been used. And it's different. As you can see, there is little shine. And it's the exact same lever that you will find on all the Rodeo Rama collection, the same lever it. So again, it's not lever, but it's got a very nice feel. Uh, the only thing with this one is, as you can see, uh, when you use your pads, you use them like this. And so it will leave marks. But they tend to go away after a while, but it leaves marks on them. And these ones do come in plenty of colors. I see they come, oh, sorry. I took all my little Rodeo Rama tiny babies to show you the colors. And the, note, uh, the notepad covers, they come in all these covers. Because in the Rodeo Rama collection, not all the pads come in all the colors. So it's different. Sometimes you've got seven colors, sometimes you've got nine colors, and sometimes you've got all the colors. So basically, these ones, they come in all these colors. Right, and this one I do not need because the rest do not come in other colors. All right, and that one is practical because you can put it in your bag. And that's what I like when I go to meetings at work and then I do not need my huge bag, then it's very simple to use. Right, and we'll come back to the pads later on. Now, also, two tiny little babies, which are actually quite nice for me, for work. Are these two Rodia and Limited Special Editions. And these ones are... Do we have inches? No, that's a 9 by 14 centimeters. So that's basically... That's an A6. And this... Well, let's have a look at this. So here you find, again... The velvety, um, velvety cover that you get in the Rodeo Rama collection. But you've got the two traditional colors, orange and black. Of course the orange one comes with a black inside. And the black comes with an orange inside. And you've got the, an elastic band and the cover is water resistant. All their covers are water resistant anyways. So it's water resistant. And it's a practical, practical little jotter. All the pages are marked, sorry, <laughs> marked by for, uh, perforated. And you've got a marge at the top. And it's grid. It also comes in line, but I do not have an example to show you. So it's a grid one, micro perforated. And the advantage I see in this one uh, is when I have to feel things about my students and then send them to... Uh, some place in, at school with a paper that comes from my notebook. So as for the writing test in this one, perfect for work, does very well. It's not 90 gram per meter square, this one, it's 80 gram. More like the regular pads. And everything worked fine on it and there was absolutely no bleed through and no show for it except for the marker. Right, so that's the kind of thing you would use either outside um, when you have to work somewhere and basically that's what I will be using with my students starting next year in September. Right, let's put that aside and then move on to the nicer pads because these ones when you buy them they come with the regular pads but the regular pads are not as nice as the um, R pads and the color. So you've got two different additions in a nicer quality of paper, you move on from 80 gram to 90 gram, and then you've got a velvet smooth, uh, silky smooth. Sorry, velvet would be rather be the outside. The inside would I would call silky smooth uh, inside in an ivory color, and then you move on to either the R pad or the color. So let's start with the. Um, I think you will enjoy the uh, color once before. So, we uh, let's start with the color pads, the one I'm regularly currently using and the ones I was sent as a sample. So this one is the new collection. Apparently what they did is they offered more um, 
dynamic colors than the previous ones. I cannot vouch for this for one reason, uh, which is because I never had the sapphire blue before. So, um, I think the difference is in the color they used in uh, the logo. As you can see, it's more of a bright orange on the right, and it's a regular orange on the other one, and I think that's the main difference. Let's compare these two, and there you can see the difference. Yeah, I do think it does come out nicely on this one, and it's a little bit nicer than, uh, than this one, but I really like the orange. Orange goes with a lot of things. The contrast it gives is quite interesting. So, uh, it doesn't come with a bright shiny stuff on it, it's just that I've been using this block, as you can see it's been used quite a lot. So what are the characteristics of all our pads? They come with a water resistant color, uh, cover, uh, it's a shiny regular one in the regular pads and it's velvet smooth on the others. So if you're familiar with um, these kind of thing, it's like buttery smooth when you touch it, it's kind of weird in a way, but it's so pleasant. I really like it. it. Gives you such an impression of quality, it's quite nice. Then it's got these things with, I don't know what the word is, uh, so that when you use them, they just come out like this. Right? It goes perfectly under this. Also, it's got a cardboard at the end, so even if you reach the end of your pad, you can still write on it. And it's micro perforated. I don't know if you can see. Uh, maybe in. When you, you do this, you can. No, you cannot see. It's so small. There's no way my camera is going to catch it. It's very small. It's not perforated. It's micro perforated, so it's very easy to take a page out. As you can see, even starting from the bottom, you've got no issue take it, taking these out. And that's one of the things that I like because I tend to tear everything else. Of my pads. Also one last characteristic is the song riff. So this is patented design and in 1934 uh, the pads that you could buy were all glued together and these were stapled, they were the first ones, but they also come with this song riff system. So it's here, it's written here. And you do not have the other side of a staple, so if you use them on your knees, then you're not going to scratch your clothes, which is something that to me is important because I very often use them on my own knees and my clothes. So, on my bed as well. And so, that's something that is nice. So, you've got the other side. I didn't show you the other side. Right. So, as it says, it comes in with 70 sheets. About a 90 gram per meter square high ivory high grade vellum paper, and that's the difference with the regular pads. The paper is a lot nicer in quality, and but it comes in an ivory color, so you have to like the ivory color, which is the, my case. I really love ivory compared to white. The only issue with this is when you use collection inks, then you do tend to have a color that it's n that is not the real color that you would get or the real result that you would get. So that comes lined and that is the size 18. Um, compared to the size 19 then you do lose a bit of, well not in terms of width but the length. And so the difference is you will get with this one you will get a real A4 once the page is out with this one you will get a size that's a bit smaller than the A4. Okay, and so what colors does it come in? Um, when it comes to the pads, it comes in all these Rhodium Aroma colors. So the chocolate, uh, the taupe, the anise, the turquoise, the sapphire, the violet, the raspberry, the poppy, I love that word. We call that coquelicot. And coquelicot is a very nice word too, but a poppy is so funny. And this one is the lilac, if I remember well, lilac. So it comes in all these colors. And if you go for the new ones, then you will get something a bit brighter. And the design, the orange color will be a bit brighter. So that one came, that one came as a sample. That's a very nice one. 
Uh, I'm just going to check if they come in something other than lined. I think they do, but I'm not sure. I think this collection comes only in lined colors. Let me check. Confirmed. It only comes in the lined version. And right, so let's move on in this collection. Uh, I've already showed you in another video the uh, uh, notebooks, the um, uh, the bigger sizes of notebooks, the gold books, they all come in the Rhodiorama colors. And now there's something that's nice, and you saw that in an unboxing I did. And this is the Rhodia, uh, what do they call this? I can't remember. The Color Treasure Box. And these do not come in all the colors, they come in the color uh, taupe, so no chocolate. They come in the taupe. They come in the anise, they come in the turquoise, they come in the sapphire, they come in uh, the violet, and not this one, and they come in puppy and uh, raspberry, is it raspberry, the raspberry color. So this one will be the puppy color, as you can see the colors are a tad bit different uh, from the original colors. So this one is a box. That is so nice if you want to offer this. And let's see what comes inside. So as, I, as you can see, it's made to look like a regular notebook, but it's a box, okay? And it's a box that's meant to be offered and inside. You have the orange uh, color. You've got two black and orange pencils with Rhodia embossed at the top. And you've got a small what is the size? It's number 12. The number 12 is a 3 by 3, 3.3 by 4.7 inches. So it's a very small pad and it's lined, always in the same paper and color. Also, let me state that just there, that I am not going to show you um, paper ink test because I've done plenty of them and the paper is always the same. So if you want to see that, you can watch my other videos, but let me tell you that the paper is absolutely fantastic. And it comes with two beautiful and bright number 16 blocks. I have about 10 of these in the top color. These are the ones that I'm regular right I'm using right now. This is the one I'm using. It's, I just started using this one. And I bought a bulk of 10. And I couldn't choose the color, so it came in top, which was a bit of a disappointment because frankly that one is much more exciting, but a top is nice, and so you will find that velvet cover and the silky smooth paper inside, and all the characteristics that I showed you about the blocks. And so that is very nice if you want to offer this as a present. Not very expensive as well. In us, for us in France, it would be like uh, between 20 and 25 euros. So that would be between 25 and 30 dollars for you, I guess. Right at the back, you can see I've got a whole pack. <laughs> that in my, my uh, reserve. Okay, now let's move on to the last part, which is my huge blocks here, and these are the R collection. So it's a bit different from the color collection. The color would be what I would call the Rodeo Rama, and this one is a different one. But R, the big R, it means higher quality uh, paper in all of these and higher quality finish as well. Right, so let's finish with this one. This is the R since 1934. And this is the R staple pads in both colors, the black and the orange. The orange again comes with a black interior. The black one comes with an orange interior. And they have all the characteristics that I've showed you before, but they represent the premium no pads that Rodia offers. All right, and one of the advantages of this one, which is the reason why I chose these two, first, their size, the number 19, will give me an A4 size, and the second, these ones come in blank, blank. That is not often the case with their collection. For example, if you take the Rodiorama collection, they come in line. This is more meant, this is meant more for uh, handwriting letters, for example. 
or take notes at a meeting or something. But these ones, they come in evil lined and blank. And I wanted blank for uh, drawing. So this would be nice for drawing with a uh, ballpoint pen, which is a technique that I have been wanting to try for a while. And let me show you that color. That's an ivory color. Uh, let me find some white to contrast it with. Right, as you can see the contrast here. And so that's a premium. Very nice quality. Also these I bought in bulks with a cover. So the cover came with, ah, okay, here. The cover came with a regular pad with an 80 gram paper. This one is a 90 gram paper, much nicer quality. Also this one is quite silky. You always find that kind of finish on the, the Clefton paper. And as you can see in the background, I bought them by packs of five. And uh, that was kind of expensive, but then in France we have special sales and Rodia and Clefontaine often participate in these sales so you can have them for a, lot, a very, very cheap price. One third of the price, basically. So these are very, very nice pads and as you can see, well, you cannot see, but you can, oh yes, on this one you can see. Let me, let me do something very nasty. I am going to lick my finger, right, and show you what it does on this block because it can give you the idea of the uh, uh, velvety, uh, the velvety aspect of the cover. That's waterproof again, and you've got all the ca characteristics of that pass, the sun grief pattern, the uh, bottom, the micro perforated pages, but you've got that drawing paper. One thing to mention about drawing on this paper, as I said before, it is silky smooth. So when you are drawing, sometimes you're looking for grain on the paper, especially with pencils. So here you will have very little grain, not enough. But as I plan to be drawing with ballpoint pens, that is going to be absolutely perfect. Because uh, with ballpoint pens, you will be going for the contrary. There is silky paper. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I'm sure that I'm going to have new stuff to show you in the future in this collection because definitely uh, that's what I've been working with for months and definitely I am settled on this for uh, working. Uh, when it comes to my workplace I am definitely using these and nothing else because it's very nice quality and you've seen before I am very enthusiastic about this but it's a French paper maker it's a French notebook maker and they really offer a perfectly nice quality of paper. So I was very proud to show you this in all these videos and as you can see I have plenty of these. Despite the fact that I was sent a few samples, definitely all these was, are things that I bought for work. Right, so thanks for watching up to the end of this video and next time I hope that I'm going to show you a new leather cover that is a kind of project handmade, but I'm not sure about this. Okay, so see you next time. Thanks for watching.